In most cases, you'll want to import some contacts into FunnelKit automations to begin using all the awesome features that you now have access to. Let me show you how to do just that. From your dashboard, under FunnelKit automations, click on contacts. If you have no existing contacts inside of FunnelKit automations, you'll see this screen here. You have two options. You could click create contact and add a contact manually, or if you're already coming from an existing solution, you'll want to click the second option here, import contact. From step one, you select the source that you're gonna import contacts from. Here's a quick summary of each of the different options and when you might want to use each. Starting with a CSV file, if you've been using an existing CRM and you wanna get all of your contacts from that third-party tool and import it into FunnelKit automations as contacts, then you'll want to export all of your data as a CSV file. And this is what a CSV file looks like. You'll upload the CSV file here and all of those contacts will become contacts in FunnelKit automations. Next is the WordPress importer. From our dashboard, if we go to users and then all users, the WordPress importer allows you to import these users as contacts in FunnelKit automations. And the third importer is WooCommerce, which will import all of your customers from your WooCommerce store, as well as all their order data. When you run multiple importers, for example, you import your contacts from a CSV file, and then you import your customers. If the same contact exists in each of these, the contacts will be merged and their profiles will be enriched. So let's start with our CSV importer. Once you have your CSV file exported from your existing solution, open it up in something like Google Sheets so that you see something similar to me here. Depending on the software that you're migrating from, the name of the headings will be different and you'll see different columns in your CSV file to mine. That does not matter, which you'll see in just a second when we do the import process. But there is one thing that you need to do to your CSV file so that when you import it, it makes sense inside of FunnelKit automations. Here in this CSV file, if I scroll across, I have a column called status. And this lets me know if the contact is actively subscribed to my mailing list or unsubscribed or unverified. You need to separate your contacts into separate CSV files based on their subscribed status. But don't worry, to do that is very easy. Here's how you do it. On our status column, if I come up here, I'll click this drop down and then click sort sheet A to Z. So now all of my contacts are grouped by their subscription status. Then I'll get the first row here, which is the column headings and create a new sheet down here, paste that into there, then go back. And then I'll get all my subscribed contacts and copy them from there. Go back to that sheet that I just created and paste. Then I'll go file, download, comma separated values, which is a .csv file, click. I'll name my CSV file contacts hyphen subscribed and click save. And I'll repeat the process for the other subscription statuses. So now I have a separate CSV file for each of the subscription statuses. Back in our importer, let's choose CSV and then click here to upload, select our subscribed and click open. On the left hand side are the columns that were inside of our CSV file and on the right hand side are the fields for a contact inside of FunnelKit automations. Now we just need to go through and map the columns to the fields in FunnelKit automations. Just go through them one by one, pay close attention and try and match as many of these as you can so that your contact profiles are as rich as possible. If you are using tags in your existing solution, you can map them down the bottom here under tags. And that way, any tags that you were using in your prior system will be created on import and associated to the related contacts during the import process. And that goes for mailing lists. So if I click here and go down and select lists, on import, any mailing list that you had set up in your existing solution will be created on import and the contacts assigned there appropriately. I'll finish off these final columns here, scrolling down. We could add a tag to all these contacts on import. We could add all these contacts into a mailing list that we've already set up inside of FunnelKit automations. And this last option is extremely important to pay attention to. This is the status. And if I click here, there's unverified, subscribed, bounced, or unsubscribed. All the contacts that we're importing here from this CSV file will be given this subscription status. And that's why it was important to separate the contacts out based on their subscription status. 
We know that all these contacts we're importing were already subscribed in our existing solution. So I want to subscribe them here inside of FunnelKit Automations. Because this is the first time I'm importing, I don't have any existing contacts in there. So this doesn't matter either. And I have no automation set up in this store. I'll click import. So now that that's done, I'll click go to contacts. So here are all of those contacts. And if I click on lists, we can see there's two lists that were created here under import. And if I go back to my CSV file and just expand this, you can see that these are the two mailing lists that I had set up in my previous CRM that were imported and created. If I click back to all contacts and then click into a contact, up the top, I can also see that this contact is subscribed. Now, all we need to do is repeat the process for the other subscription statuses. So I'll exit out of this and then click on import and then CSV and then click to upload a CSV. And then I'll do my unsubscribed contacts and click open. I'll map these fields again and under status, I'll select unsubscribed. Then I'll click import. It lets us know three contacts were successfully imported. And if I click go to contacts, I see all my contacts. And just to make sure that that all worked, I can go up to here and go advanced filters, apply a filter segment status is unsubscribed and then apply that filter. We can see there's those three contacts that we just imported from that CSV file. Then there's one last one that we need to import, which is the CSV file. I'll click and it's gonna be for our unverified contacts. I'll open that up. Once again, I'll just map these fields quickly. The status we wanna import these contacts as is unverified, and I'll click import. 15 contacts were successfully imported. I'll click go to contacts. And then up here with our filter, let's change this to unverified and click apply filter. And up the top, it lets us know there's 15 contacts that were found, and these are those that we just imported. If I scroll up and click on all contacts, and then on import, let's click on WordPress and look at this second option. You can select specific user roles of users that you want to import. You can assign tags to them, add them to mailing lists, set their status and all the other options we saw in the previous example with the CSV file. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and import everyone. I'm going to set their status to subscribed, but for updating existing contact status, I'll leave that disabled because if we previously imported any of these users in our CSV file import, I want to respect that status that they had in our CRM. Let's go ahead and click import. Three users were added and I'll click to go to contacts. Now, if I search for my profile and then click into it, I can see all the information from the CSV file for my profile is here imported. But if I go to purchases, None of my purchase information from WooCommerce is showing attached to my profile. If I get out of this and then go to WooCommerce and customers and search for my name, I can see that in WooCommerce, my email address has 63 orders assigned there with $5,400 in total spend. The reason that this information is not showing for contacts in FunnelKit Automations is because we need to import it. Here's how we do that. Back in FunnelKit Automations and contacts, Let's click import and then WooCommerce. This screen lets us know that there's 224 orders worth of data that we're about to be importing. So all the customers there will be created as contacts in FunnelKit Automations and then all the order data will be assigned to those contacts inside of their profiles. It's worth noting that we should not expect to see 224 new contacts in FunnelKit Automations because some contacts may have made multiple purchases. For the status, I'm going to set this to subscribed. However, this next option, update existing customer status, I'm going to leave that disabled. That way we don't accidentally resubscribe customers that have unsubscribed from our mailing list since they made their purchase. We're not going to trigger any automations in this example and I'll click import. We can see that 224 orders were successfully imported. And if we click go to contacts, I can see there's my contact with my app funnel kit email address. And if I click into it and then over to purchases, now I see a lot more information about my contact profile here in funnel kit automations and exporting your contacts out of funnel kit automations is just as easy as importing. Click on export and then create export, give it a meaningful name and then go through each of the different panels, selecting the field that you would like to do. You can click to open and select an individual field or click up the top to select all of them inside of that field group. 
I'll go ahead and select all of these just for this example today, and then I'll click next. You can apply a filter to only export that audience from FunnelKit Automations. For example, if I went to WooCommerce and then has made purchase and clicked apply filter, now I'm only exporting people that have purchased from this website, my customer list. Review the number of contacts that are about to be exported to make sure that's what you were expecting. And once ready, click next. Once complete, click download file. And just like that, you have a CSV file with all of your contact data that you can open up in your spreadsheet software of choice and begin to do what you need with the data. At any time, you can revisit the export page to see a list of all the CSV files that you've generated. If you click the three dots here and then view, you see the filters that were applied to that export as well as the fields that are contained in that export. You can also click download to download that CSV. If you're an existing FunnelKit user, then jump in, give it a go, and if you get stuck, reach out to our support. If you're not already experiencing the powerful features in FunnelKit automations, then definitely check out our pricing plans or talk to our pre-sales team. We're ready and happy to help.